Grafted tomatoes are commonly used to avoid diseases in home gardens and commercial production fields. A successful graft begins with healthy seedlings. To begin, mix water with germination media to fully moisten soil. Fill trays with moist potting material. Plant seeds twice as deep as they are wide. When grafting, the diameter of the rootstock and cyan stems must match. Therefore, it is sometimes necessary to plant a slower growing variety a few days ahead of a more vigorous variety. Moisten seed trays daily until plants are fully emerged. Then moisten at regular intervals and never allow the trays to dry out or the plants to wilt. Once plants have reached a stem diameter of one to two millimeters thick or have three or four true leaves, it is time to graft. To prevent contamination of grafts, you will need gloves, razors, alcohol, water, and wipes. The easiest and most common used tomato grafting is called the Japanese tube graft. It involves cutting the rootstock, preferably below the cotyledons at an angle, and slipping the plastic tube over the cut. Next, cut a scion tomato with a similar diameter at an angle. Place the newly cut scion wood into the plastic tube so that the cut angle matches the rootstock. The stems must touch one another for a graft union to form. Keep trays misted with water until all grafts are complete. Immediately place grafted plants into a humidity chamber. Humidity chambers should be maintained between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit and 85 to 95 percent humidity. This is a commercial size humidity chamber, but smaller chambers can be constructed using simple materials for home garden use. The chamber is covered with several layers of shade cloth and sometimes a dark tarp on top to create an atmosphere that is completely dark for approximately the first five days. After the first five days, layers of the shade cloth are removed one at a time until the grafted plants are fully exposed to sunlight. Grafted plants are maintained in the chambers completely exposed to sunlight for an additional seven days. Allow grafted plants to remain in a controlled environment until they reach a desired size for transplanting. Always harden off grafted plants prior to planting in the field. For more grafting information, visit lsuagcenter.com and read Grafting Tomatoes to Improve Plant Health, extension publication number 3607.